Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again, and this is it. It's the World Cup final. It's France against the hosts, Brazil. They managed to get through their semi final against Belgium 2 2 after extra time, and Brazil went on to win 4 3 on penalties. And of course, we were able to brush aside Spain 3 0 in the previous video yesterday in the semi final of our own. There will be a link to that if you missed it, by the way, in the description and an annotation on screen in the bottom left hand corner. But uh, Spain actually won the third place playoff. 3-2 against Belgium. So uh, Spain finished third and this is the fight for the gold and silver positions, so to speak. So we're starting with the same 11 that beat Spain, although the injured Ribéry and injured Nasri have since recovered and are now on the bench. But it, it seemed harsh to knock, uh, to drop Kabay and Biabiani, considering they played so well to, uh, to get us through to the final. But this is... Uh, Brazil's starting lineup, an extremely strong side. Hulk, Pato, and Neymar up top. Uh, extremely strong centre back pairing with Jesus and David Luiz, with Dani Alves and Marcelo at the back. It's going to be an extremely tough game, but let's jump straight into it. As always, going to try and keep the video uh, around about 10 minutes ish if I can. I don't really want to make it too much longer than that because, of course, uh, some people just decide not to watch because of the. Uh, the overly long length of the videos but uh, I'll try and make it as entertaining as possible hopefully we can win we may actually get off to a great start here if I can find Johan Kabay doesn't have much pace Danny Alves is absolutely rapid so uh, that was the potential for an opening chance Brazil might be in here well done Gail Cleesey pace apparently is the uh, the deciding factor so far go on Karim well I've got a man over here in Umvia I'm gonna I'm gonna no, I'm not. I was going to drill it across. I decided against it. We'll play it to Paye. Can he stand it up? He can. Can Benzema get there first? He can, but it's going to be a comfortable save for Diego Alves in goal. Chance for... Oh, that is a lovely ball with the outside of the foot. I'm going to bring the goalkeeper out. Alexander Pato gets the snapshot away and it goes into the side lane. That ball from Hernanes, by the way, that is absolutely spectacular. Uh, disappointing finish from Alexander Pato, though, on his left foot. Right, he's come inside. Let's try and just keep the ball for a bit because Brazil have been absolutely pounding me these opening few moments. This opening half an hour has literally just been yellow wave after yellow wave. Although Kabai could be in here. He's got a great shot from distance. We're going to try it. Decent save from Diego Alves. Palmed it straight to his defender. Kept it safe. But that is not the best of clearances. Come on, Benzema. Do something nice with it, please. Although you're not going to do anything if I don't tell you to. Kabai, I'll try and get around the corner. I can't. Well, they've still managed to keep possession. And that is a lovely through ball for Coutinho. And a lovely ball inside. Oh, Lloris, not a chance. So such expertly placed, such an expertly placed finish there from Alexander Pato into that far bottom corner. Fantastic cutback there to pick him out. And then Lloris just knew he wasn't going to get anywhere near it. Didn't bother diving. It's Brazil 1, France 0 coming up towards half time. Oh, it's a lovely turn. He's got the pace to get away from the uh, from the back line. If I can just... Benzema, please make me run into the box. Wow. Stand it up. Karim Benzema. Oh, header. Oh, saved. No, go in. Oh, shit. As if... I didn't think that header from Benzema was going to go anywhere near the target, let alone cause that sort of mayhem in the box. That's half time. If we could have scored then, that would have been superb. Oh, boys, that was so close. It's 1-0 to Brazil then at half-time. They've really been on top of me, to be completely honest, this first half, as you can see from the stats. Possession is split 50-50, but they've had twice as many shots as me. So I'm really going to have to step it up second half. May have to call upon uh, Frank Ribery and Sami Nasri off the bench if we're going to uh, make any sort of impact on this second half. But fingers crossed we can get ourselves back into it. It would be nice to, uh, to end this mini-series with a, a tournament win as opposed to just runners-up. We've got advantage there for something, but I'm not too sure what it is. I'm going to try to play Biabiani in. Got run from deep. Oh, he's missed the ball. All right, and Via, what have you got? Someone come feet. Goodbye. Go on, get the turn in. And the shot. It's gone bottom corner. Get it across. No, it's going in. Oh. <laughs> We're getting closer, boys. We are getting closer, but the ball just won't fall for us properly with those saves from Diego Alves. The, uh, the I guess one good thing is bring that down the fact that uh, Alves is parrying it into danger every single time he makes a save like that so if I can I can pounce on one of those deflections then maybe we can get ourselves an equaliser in this one we'll use Biabiani step over and go go on then Benzema can you Benzema's so lazy by the way he's just not making runs 
Although he's made that run. I'm going to cut inside. Please finish. No, the ball got away from him at the vital time. I should have taken this shot early. And they're going to catch me on the counter attack here. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself there for not taking the shot early with Benzema. I tried to sprint away. Just the wrong decision at the wrong time. It's cost me a fantastic chance there. We'll have the free kick, please, ref. Thank you. Right, Yoan Kabai is going to take this. Why is it put Benzema on it? Yoan Kabai, where are you? There you are. Right, do me proud, son. Do me proud. He's got it over the walls. Go for the bottom corner. Diego Alves makes a good save, getting down well to his left hand side. It was on target, it was a decent free kick, just not enough pace on it. If I could have put more more behind it, perhaps that might have uh, stood a good chance of going into the back of the net, but they're going to get the chance to catch me on the counter again every time. Look at them flying forward. There's five yellow shirts there on the counter attack. Laurent Koscielny again doing the work defensively, and we get the chance to counter attack ourselves, but it's a poor ball from me again. Paye. Got 15 minutes left. Definitely, I'm going to make the change now. I'm going to bring Frank Ribery on. He's not as fully fit as uh, he potentially could be. But uh, let's bring Nasri on for Kabai as well then. Just to make those uh, two couple of changes. And uh, the ball's going to go out there for a throw in. So we're going to bring a not 100% fit Frank Ribery on for Paye and Sami Nasri on for Johan Kavai to sit behind Karim Benzema to try and unlock this defensive back line that Brazil have uh, put together so far superbly holding me keeping me at bay oh what a turn I can't change the right man I just can't change the right man I wanted the boy I wanted the man on the inside of Oscar there and it changed to the the two guys the wrong side it changed to those two that missed the ball I just couldn't change that guy in the middle he kept backing away that's Brazil 2, France 0. That's increasingly frustrating, especially considering it was the LB player change that let me down there. I could have closed him down. I should have used the left stick, or the right stick rather, just to flick and change player. It's my own fault, really. But can we play in Bibiani here, Matuidi? Oh, look at the defensive line step. Now as we come feet, no, don't just run blindly on. This game's getting away from us now. It's looking as if we're going to uh, to lose to Brazil Lucas tormenting me down this right hand side with his pace keeping the ball well they've got a man in support through Oscar there's Hernanes Bibiani right break break go go Benzema make me another run he has done over the top run onto that oh honestly man their centre back pairing of Juan Jesus and David Luiz have been rock solid I cannot get past them when it comes to playing balls through the middle. And uh, Pato's just tearing me apart here. They could make it three. What's happened? Is he given a penalty? I oh, know he's given offside. I panicked then. I thought he'd given a penalty for handball. They take a Neymar off. They're bringing Willian on. It's going to take a turnaround of epic proportions to get anything out of this one. We're into the 90th minute now. I think it's safe to say we're unfortunately going to have to settle for runners up in the World Cup this year and that is exactly what we're going to have to do. Brazil on home soil have won the World Cup in Rio 2014. Unfortunately boys we are going to have to settle for second place. It's disappointing. We've had a superb to tournament so far though to be completely honest. I have thoroughly enjoyed bringing you uh, every single one of these uh, this mini series of it's been gone. It's gone down very, very well. You guys have shown it. Superb support with likes, with comments, with views, etc. I cannot thank you enough for that. We're going to have Pac-Man tomorrow on Wednesday, and uh, I do apologise. I wasn't able to bring you a win in the final. It's extremely disappointing, but it's been a good ride. We've had a good journey through uh, through this World Cup. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be superb to show this video the same level of support that you have done with the previous ones. And of course, if you aren't subscribed already, feel free to do so. There's plenty of Xbox One content coming starting next week so be sure to subscribe for that there will be a link to do so on screen and as an annotation in the top right and a link in the description as well but that is going to wrap this one up so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time